they probably have to play behind and draft. They take the, the other stuff. side of the draft. Oh. Solo's already moving up, but PPD will reach it first, so Denial is the only other choice they have. Or killing PPD. He's in deep. No TP scroll available, and this may be our first blood. In fact, it will be. Pasha drops the nuke. Yeah, if you can get oh, the catacomb, jump in. Going in deep, that's why the Dragon Tower stun came out from no one. CCNC wants to go in deep, but no TP support arriving from Voters Pro. All he can do is do the breathe fire, try and reduce this damage of CCNC. Curry is even delivering in deep. That's a very, very tanky Husker. Oh. Double braces and burn. Oh, no one, you just can't. You Roger, coming in with the spear is Ashley forcing the Ghost Shroud, allowing Roger to do more damage to the homing missile, chasing after 33. He'll do a quick death pulse, that gives him enough life, and maybe with a rocket barrage, how much of it will be tanked by 33? All of it. Ramsey's even looks for an extra one. No flat cannon available, he's got another rocket barrage, so going after Zai under the tier one tower. No, he didn't. Didn't need it, not required. Now up towards the top, the stop is there. They get the double stun out. No way for Roger to escape with the Reaper's Scythe. Ramdis is in real, real trouble. Running away. One more punch will do it. One punch, Mansai. Help is coming in from no one. Dragon Tail stun creates the space with the homing missile. Zai should die. No one gets something. Actually, Ramdis and no one share it. They'll probably see the armor on right now. Ramsey's the smoke's gonna break. Cooldown's coming off cooldown at the moment. CZ and C. Life breaks his way forward. Roger, it's a lot of damage on him. The cooldown's still gonna hit nicely, but they need more support. They need to back up with the Reaper Scythe. The Ramsey's cannot be protected. No one gonna four man breathe fire. And Halska's gonna find his target. And surprise, surprise, who is it gonna be? Hello, Mr. Dragon Knight, and goodbye, Mr. Dragon Knight. ET Splitter being committed, just in case anyone wants to TP in towards this fight too. Partial will arrive, Splitter's already come out. Nature's Attendance is there, DK tanking through a lot of this, but the Fiend script from PPD, they are able to go from one target to the next. And Pasha, he has no way to escape from this. Relocate is on the way, and well, Ramsey's and Roger, not if you really want to be part of that. Bottom, difference. bottom lane, 33. Oh, they're going to find a different target. It's going to be Zai. He'll go in for his stomp, but Pasha loves this. He'll just keep his distance. Throwing out the Impetus, he can find the kill pretty quickly. There's no instant movement forward because PPD has arrived. Dragonite's still on his way, so he's not ready to fight in this one just yet. The trigger, the drum charge, and the call down. It looks like Ramsey wants to be part of this fight, chasing PPD into the tree line. CC and C. Pasha's got the spaces to beat into him, and Solo has to save himself from Pycat. Support is still coming. Coming in, CC and C, he's already found the kill, the relocate out does not come in time. So Solo and Ramses both go down, and that's a weird kind of fight. And you know it's not over yet, one second, and Io is coming back all the way down the bottom, and goodbye Roger. No enchant used yet by Pasha. Here comes Pycat underneath the tower. Pasha into the sprites, hasn't used his enchant just yet. The stomp is out, and Pycat finishes the job. Nicely done. I think when you're stronger than the enemy like this, you don't give anything up for free. VP need to leave right now. 33 is already there. You've got the BKB clanks oh. ready to jump into the fight. And the stomp, it won't be able to connect. Homing missile will chase down 33. Oh, Pycat's found a target over on the right. It's going to be Pasha. He'll sprite up and push up the hillside. A missed chance will not be there. Can they get close enough? No, Roger. Tethers forward. They want to keep the run. Call down from Ramsey. Turns on the BKB in the flat cannon. PPD can't maintain that life. Pycat runs away. Here comes the ET splitter. Will not connect on anybody. And Solo has to actually protect himself. There's a lot of life taken away from Optic, but remember they can just stand their ground, or can they? Huska stunned up by the magic missile, the ET top doesn't do enough work, Rams is in close, and can they bring down the BC? The ET's just armor toggling it while Roger, 33, executes him in the back lines, they're back underneath the tower, 33 under Ghost Rod wants to dive in deeper, the stomp once again, whiffing on the skies, as Huska under the tier 2 tower, Zai doesn't want to stick around much longer, but Pycat does into the back lines, he'll find Ramses defuses him up, Ramses cannot fight that power, CC and C on Pie Cat, both wicked sick, both living under the tier two tower and forcing the issue against Virtus Pro. Everything Optic wanted, they have. Oh, and even if he finds a kill here on the way oh, yeah, in. He's chasing Ramsey's Roger. He may have to need to start to relocate. There's a mech charge available, and you're seeing Roger decides to die, and Ramsey just wants to TP out. He has no buyback available. And you see what he's CC buying. And C. He's working on that MKB. Ramsey's, he's in trouble. Has to BKB. The diffuser blade of Pycat kept him low, but at the same time, Pycat, he's got no mana to work with. He's got cheese available. There's another stop. Will miss his target. CC and C. Stunned up. And Ramsey's, he goes in deep. The Reaper side won't find the kill. The false promise was there to protect him. The call down making it difficult for Opt to get to the front lines, but not for CC and C. Just life breaks forward, looking to break the back of Virtus Pro. And they're in a pretty damn good position to do it. 
Back to objective based gaming. They're targeting perfectly as well, Pasha. So he is a non factor. Yeah, he needs to get this MKB. So they need this MKB and they need the Aegis to expire. The Dragon Tail Stump, they're gonna find 33. He's died more times than anyone else on uh, Optic Gaming, but with Husker jumping forward, the Stomp's out, and Gyrocopter PPD's on solo life. The balls from Iyer will kill him off, freeing Ramses from the vine, and finally they break the Aegis to the Immortal. Call down from Ramses. He gets something in return, but they're so far behind. Optic can just walk through it, and GG. The call comes down. Virtus Pro knew that was the last roll of the dice. Optic Gaming take game one. Huskar. Classic Huskar game. Gets picked in a game where he has all these good lane matchups. And... It was actually the dream pick. All right. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so they're, Blood they're putting Bloodseeker versus that Alk and putting that Brood elsewhere. Okay. Harder here. And as well as a Mango. Oh, so top a lane. Avalanche is out. The Bramble is perfect. Zai got locked in. One more attack is required. Okay, make it two. Roger, that's a really short duration, Shadow Realm. So Zai, thanks to stick charges. He'll go off, but remember when these players are low, you get a slightly buffed up hero, but it won't matter when Pie Cat's the real buff. The toss tree! Zai! How can he just keep living? What was that from Roger? Losing Zai in that situation. They get a full wave with creep kills and denies. Solo. Uh, Fighting no, against PPD. No concoction skilled up. No one wants to come in and fight the bottom lane. They just keep PPD in position. Hold him down so no one gets buffed up. Ramsey makes his own rotation over. CC and C. Oh, no one's buff. Won't last yeah, much fast. longer. Actually, yeah, it will. CC and C just has no life to fight with. No see him. Thanks to all the vision and solo just brain saps. Gets the kill. They want to ensure this Alchemist does not get ahead because at the moment, the Dro Ranger is about to buff everyone up and work with Zai to try and find the kill. Roger the neighborhood, the Cursed Crown onto Zai will create a little bit of space, so does the Bramble. But because CC and C's in a farming position, there's no concoction, so they go in again. There's no real save, so PPD. Third death of the game. Side to feed the bees that is Ramsey's while Zai, Curse Crown onto him, Pasha, Avalanche, tossing the Draw Ranger in, putting Pycat inside the Bramble, the tree toss will connect, and Pasha with a double kill on this safe lane, Optic, they're still ahead. The Bloodseeker, but they couldn't close the distance and get the kill. They're up to now no instead. one. Flame Break trying to create a little bit more space. The Blood Riot is out. Lasso, 33, tries to reach it, but silenced up under the tower. But with the Firefly, he should have the damage until Pasha arrives. Avalanche is out with the Brain Sap. They can find some revenge on the 33. He's probably the bigger kill now, considering no one was a non-factor. Nightmare has to be switched off. Zai creates space and will sacrifice itself with the Bramble. It connects on CC and C. Solo with the Body Block. He's got the Curse Crown on top of him too. Alchemist, you won't survive from this one. Or can you? The Sun from Zai creates more space. Roger will still finish the job, but Pasha has has to run away from the illusion of the Alchemist. They're starting to punch him down. Diffusal Blade is on Ramsey, so he knows he can try and take this fight against CC and C. He runs away. Diffusal Blade charge was already used. CC and C. Okay, They're actually right. going in deep, way too deep. Solo's got. A, he's actually got too no, too much distance. He can't catch up. Ramsey's. I am uncertain about what that was. Now they try and turn. No one with the double damage room. Needs to be a little bit lower. Looking for a good rupture target. The Nightmare protects for a moment Dark Willow, but it's still going to be a death. Virtus Pro. What were they looking for? Apart from death? No one. He can get the kill on design, get a little bit more life to survive. He's able to do so. Needs to keep the run going. One charges. Cannot. Ramses is being hunted. That's why this smoke is up. They're trying to find the brood mother inside the jungle. Now he's got a little bit of help now nearby him as Ramses. The initiation will come, swap him out, Pasha. He's wondering if he really wants to be involved in this. Maybe he can get a kill over on Zai, but yeah, as you said, BKB. Ramses just stand his ground and fight. Gus doesn't do jack against this. And Pika, he almost died to the blood right. Virtus Pro rampaging forward, looking towards CC and C. They still have Rupture up, the TP, the nightmare. PPD was almost out of there, but now they find extras. CC and C brought down the old fashioned way, terrorizes Stop the TP out. That was a try and escape the rupture. And PPD, take me, I'm yours. That's what he does. That's a really big blunder right now. The they may just ro walk into Roger. Away. That's the worst here. Unless they got that. Blink reveal. Lasso is up. Shadow Realm from Roger will not come in time. Pycat was even committing the Gus for it, but you see Virtus Pro. They turn their attention, they want to come for the fight, and Pasha comes in close range. You'll get the Avalanche Sun over on two, but the Ice Path is good from PPD with a Door Breath and the Macro Pyre. They can actually have some damage on this choke point, swapping Ramsey's back out again, so we can't just fight with the Fiend's Grip. It caught out 33. Solo had the high ground position, the support, it's arrived. No one's in the engagement. They were so low, he moved so fast, and they'll keep the chase going. CC and C, TP out will be successful. Zai, however, will not be so lucky. The last man left standing. He knew he was dead. A triple kill for Ramses.
And he can at least have it for the next fight. That's if he can get back inside the base. You see Parsha just moving down. He has to blink away, but the Shiva's guard connects on him, so he can't blink away. Terrorized being used to force everyone away. It hit both the Alchemist and the Dro Ranger. Parsha swapped back into the Macro Pyre. And where's the real fight? The BKB from Pycat. He can stand. Lasso onto the brood by the BKB was already up. Someone's gonna kill off Zai at the moment. He's killing off Solo. No one. He's in the engagement. The rupture is out. Dro Ranger standing its ground, but it's off to gaming who are coming out on top. The blade melt from no one. He'll TP out to safety. PPD, he's surviving through this with a stun from Zai who TP'd out. He can help and kill, keep his captain alive for at least half a second longer. The Pasha revealed. Avalanche tries to create a little bit more space. Kakosh from CC and C. Control and kill. What a massive one too. Over and Sentry from Optic Gaming. So Pasha waits around the back, D-Warding is out, Blink last so there's a Nightmare, try and protect Roger, so maybe he can get into the Shadow Realm, won't happen, the Fiend's Grip, CCNC is controlled and held in position, allowing Ramses to kill a PPD, now he turns his attention over towards the Alchemist, Concoction Stun was pretty damn good, the BKB was already down for the Broodmother, no one was protected, but double buybacks in from Optic, Dro Ranger now opening up on Pasha, he's underneath the Sentry Ward, no way you escape, and this is a huge fight, everyone knows that the buybacks are coming thick and fast, Primary thing is Roshan. He is the main man that everybody wants to get. And oh, they're looking in. Five flies off cooldown. The Pasha exploding PPD. Now go towards the skies. Ramsey's going in. His BKB will now be triggered. He's trying to keep Pycat down and keeping away from uh, well Terrorize everyone else. Combo. How much can CCNC maintain here? He's got his concoction. The double stun is up. CCNC wants to keep battling at 33. The perfect stun with the cursed crown. It tagged him up too. Zion wants to stand his ground. Pasha, he's got the toss up. Pycat, the swamp out, but no, no one's back in. Everyone's so low. His BD got no one. He'll catch the distance into no one. On to CCNC, finding the kill, 33, up towards the air. The burn is still real, however. The flame break doing its work, 33 will sacrifice his life. Vivek was there from the Alchemist, 33 does go down to Pasha's last swing, but Concoction flies forward, they have to split. Nightmare from Solo, so beautiful. Dodges the attack, Dark Will looking against the Shadow Realm. Another Concoction up for the Alchemist, looking for the target. The Shiva's guard will find the kill, and CCNC will stun himself. They're losing mid racks. there's no way that Optic can actually initiate. He can sit there and watch. He's actually controlled. Fiend's grip, not even there yet. He's just reeling from the terrorize. Locked inside the Bramble and Pasha. Tosses him out. The Aegis the Immortal that dies in mid-air. He was ruptured up. It's brought down by Pasha's last hit. No one. Blink in. 33! Oh, he couldn't find the target and they just tossed no one forward! 33 will at least get the last so Dark Willow is trying to help him out the curse crown. 33. He can actually just die on the top lane. Ramses was in the middle of Optic. Albert. His BKB is gone. The Heavens Halbert disabling up Alchemist and they're all terrorized. Pycat can set his crown thanks to the BKB, but Pasha is just clobbing him down with trees. CZ and C can get the concoction out, but Ramses, he just tanks. You can't kill him. Okay, you can kill him, but the follow-up is still going to be there. Defensive, Yule Scepter up, Alchemist done by the Cursed Crown, dead for two minutes. Rupture to begin with, CCNC just wants to get back into the fountain, the Terrorizer's up, he'll cop a lot of damage, but then regenerate it up, beating into the Tier 4 tower, it's down already, the Blood Rite keeping Optic contained, same with the Bramble, CCNC can use the BKB to try and escape from it, and the Lasso, they found a target, it's no one, they're pulling him in, but he's still got BKB plus Blade Mail, Pycat just wants one kill, but he can't even get a support, this really is too much power, but Virtus Pro are unstoppable, and GG! Virtus Pro will level the series. We may go 2 0s in the early part of this playoff, but everything now, it always goes to 3. Or uh, Coddle. Oh, please. It's Alina. I knew it. I'm more See, <laughs> I named five heroes. I knew I was right. For seven. Ursa uh, starting his TP out on bottom, pushes at the stun available, but they almost had the crit to find it. Ramsey's top Profit. will be taking a bit of that TPing too. TPing in behind, looking towards Pycat, sprout him up, they bring the dust as well, Pycat's gonna be low, Ramsey doesn't have six, but it won't be required, and Zai, underneath the tower, they can go with the Treants available, Zai, he's got one quick soul rip pulse up, so Zai moving out as uh, Pasha will get picked off on the bottom lane, the Sprout is up, Solo trying to protect himself from Pycat, his sentry, Dust is up, Zai, Ramsey wants to finish the job, one attack is not enough, he needs another, okay, no he doesn't, he'll just use the aura. Pretty much consistently, but this time, Ramsey's they're looking good. initiated on 33, rotated oh. off the lane, if you lose in the landing phase, what do you do? Oh, Rotate easy. heavy and then, yeah, this is... Easiest yep. jinx of my life. Mid lane, Solo comes in towards the mid lane, Sprout is up, CC and C with a double damage rune on no one. Alright, mid lane, PPD, oh! 
Another nightmare from PPD. Fiends Grip's coming off cooldown. Avalanche flies out from no one and the TP forward from Solo. They try and use the Terrorite to force everyone to go back and send Ramsey's in for the Reaper's sight. That's CC and C gone. The sacrifice, it's currently Solo. And he is the normal sacrifice of Virtus Pro. There's extra help. Zai arrives. No, 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 but while this is still happening, they have to use fortification. The tier 2 tower was taking considerable damage. Pycat can now find the revenge. Sprout from Solo, TP out, they'll come through the damage. Hey, actually buys in the time with the toss. Pycat could not get the last steering arrow out. The PPD gets the control onto no one. Avalanche is there, no one with a couple of one charges. Rise of Nature bounces through that Reaper's side. Pycat will be able to survive. He had enough life to live. Reincarnation will finally pop for the first time in a long time. But Pasha lends the stun, bounces over towards Pycat. One more hit will do it. Double kill for Pasha. TPD trapped inside the trees. HY, HY said this was safe. It's not the case. With the Hellfire Blast, Pasha's going up the kill, but the tombstone is perfect. Zai is able to fight with CC and C. The Pasha is still a beast. A triple kill for him. The stun's available. Throws it out. Trying to control up the damage, and it is. CC and C will fall. Ramsey in the trees, and now they sprout him again. Zai can't get away. Ramsey's finally brought down. PPD with a little brain sap will be there, and it's worth it, but it's his life that is the Sacrifice! Virtus Pro come out on top! And the bottom tier 1 tower will be claimed by Pasha. Yep. Summoned a couple of skeletons. He didn't have too many charges on this, I think. Is that only... Uh, oh, like oh, no one. one. He's got two charges, one in Avalanche, one in Toss. Isn't that easy? Pika just got caught on the same sentry that saw him before. Yep. So. Arcane Rune, no one can be ready to turn around and try and find this one. Solo Sprout will not protect him. They were caught inside, but no one... As I said, that combo is already back up. He'll take CC and C. So... Virtus Pro already in the position. They were using Ramses as bait. He's got the Aegis C model. So they start on PPD. The Tombstone is down, but will it give them the team fight they require? Not when the Terrorize sends them into the waiting arms of no one. Two heroes down. Zai is still on the retreat. And that's why the Cursed Crown not available just yet. They just kept the reveal. Sprout, create more. And then the Reaper's side. So much health on Zai. Yeah, they're still in a very commanding position. The jump is good for them. They just need a nice target. Zai's gonna present himself. No tombstone available anymore. And look at the horde. They just sum it up. The melee racks, it'll go down to the horde. But the Aegis Immortal time now. They don't want to fight this one. But then again, 33. He'll force the issue. Jumping in close. And the enrage is almost fully wasted out. PPD got himself a great fiend's grip. But it still will not be enough. They'll kill off PPD. Move through 33. And Zai on the retreat. The Hellfire Blast is out. And Undying tries to walk away. Slowed up so much. Three heroes down for Optic. Virtus Pro. And normally their Achilles heel, and it looks like here in game three it may be exactly the same scenario. Unless Optic can pull the most ridiculous Ooh. comeback of the whole tournament. High cap visible for half a second. Half a second is long enough to get the dust off. PPD came out. Nightmare will protect him a little bit longer, but there's the Reaper side and the Curse Crown. PPD's out for a minute, and they'll look for the next one. Over was Pycat. Disarm. 33 does find the back line, killing off Roger, but the expense is so high. Solo's into the tree lines. He can't TP out away from this one. They just kill off the tomb, so now the Zai is back to the wall the living and maybe he'll be sent back to the underworld. Solo actually lives through all of this thanks to the help of Ramses. Pycat doesn't accept it however but this is GG. Pycat calls it. The game is over. Optic are eliminated from the international and Virtus Pro keep their hopes alive. They'll reach the same round they reached last year pushing through into the lower bracket round four. They didn't get much further than that last year. They're looking to change it with the momentum they get from the win here. This is a this is a really great timing for VP to play their best game of the tournament. This game was super convincing, great laning, great fighting. I think their draft was super solid too. The solution that they found for the Undying that was supposed to be part of a, a trump card here from, o, uh, from Optic, it looked like a fantastic hero. The Nature's Prophet worked out so well. The Necrophos from Ramses, but after that it was just all VP.